Okay, we will just get started and if anyone else joins us, they can just hop on in. Um, but thank you all for joining us for our webinar of being the cool kid in economic development. Uh, today we have Kyle Puko with us and he is the co-founder at GeoFly. Um, he began his marketing career while working at admissions office at a few different colleges. Uh, and now he is doing this awesome thing with GeoFly and I'll just let him get right into it without going too far into detail and show you guys how um, you can all use uh, target, geotargeting for your websites. So, welcome Kyle, thanks for joining us. Great, yeah, thank you Audrey and welcome everybody. Um, so like Audrey said, my name is Kyle Pucko. I uh, spent the better part of a decade in higher education admissions uh, marketing, um, specifically sort of your traditional marketing path. So did a lot of college fairs, um, participated in a lot of direct mailings, um, and really some of the early days of managing CRMs and contacts. Uh, in 2013, I became what, according to LinkedIn, was the only digital marketing position at any college or university in the country. Um, like I said, at least according to LinkedIn. So uh, in that position, you know, really did some cool things with early Facebook advertising, early targeting. Um, today, what I really want to talk about uh, is GeoFly. So in 2015, left college admissions to start GeoFly. And really in, uh, in a quick elevator pitch, you know, what GeoFly allows anybody, uh, regardless of your technical background. So if you're sitting here thinking, you know, oh, this sounds like something for our web team, or this sounds like, you know, something that I don't really manage. Um, if you are in a marketing or communications role, um, that's really who this product is designed for. So GeoFly, the way that it works is it allows anybody to change and replace website content based on visitor location. That means that somebody visiting your economic development uh, website's homepage from California, they're gonna see different content than somebody visiting that same website from New York. Uh, and of course this started in higher ed because people visit you know, a university homepage for very different reasons, depending on where they're visiting from. So, uh, you know, we would show international student information to anybody visiting internationally. We would show out of state tuition information to anybody visiting the University of Montana's website, which is where we're based here in Missoula, Montana, from out of state. So really our goal was to improve that on page on page experience. You know, you're, you're all working with Golden Shovel in various capacities and that might be getting new users to your website. So you're showing these really focused display advertisements on Google and maybe you're targeting Facebook. Um, where GeoFly lives in that marketing funnel, in that traditional marketing funnel, is, you know, th there's a metric out there that says for every, I think it's $85 spent in uh, getting people to your website, a total of, I think it's anywhere from three to five dollars is spent actually converting that website visitor that you worked so hard to earn into a lead for, for your economic development firm or into a phone call or into a, a chat. Maybe it's as simple as a chat. So really we live in sort of that second tier. You've done the hard work and gotten somebody to your website. GeoFly improves that uh, sort of activation stage for folks. Um, and before we go too much further, I just want to reiterate, you know, geotargeting has a lot of different definitions. Um, and one of them that is sometimes confused with GeoFly is advertising. So if you're on this call thinking, I can't wait to sort of geotarget ads to Memphis or geotarget ads to Rochester, New York, um, that's something that Golden Shovel can certainly help with but it's not the role of GeoFly. Like I said, GeoFly exists on your website as it exists today. So it's not a new website and it's not a new landing page. It is, think of it almost like a transparency over your existing, uh, over your existing URL. So Audrey, I think I might share my screen just to show a couple examples here. And if anybody has questions as I'm kind of jumping through this, feel free, uh, feel free to add those in the chat box. And I'm happy to, happy to jump in there and answer those. Um, and Audrey, I might not see those as I'm running through, so feel free to just interrupt me as I'm chatting here. Sounds good, we'll do. <laughs> cool. So 
we're going to use Golden Shovel's website as as our example today. Um, you know, and, and we can almost pretend like this is your website or any economic development company's website. And we really believe that this is going to uh, going to provide a a real competitive advantage for the firms working with Golden Shovel because it's not something that's used in economic development. Um, we're one of the few that are doing it at a, a specific targeting capabilities like we are. So I'll show you what I mean. So this is the website as it exists today. You know, if you were to go to goldenshovelagency.com, this is what you would see. Now using GeoFly, we are able to then say, well, we actually want to personalize content for anybody visiting that site from California. So now when somebody from California visits goldenshovelagency.com, this is what they would see. They'd see a specific hero image of the cityscape of LA. They would see some new hero image text, economic development, marketing in the golden state, helping attract businesses and talent to Los Angeles, San Francisco, and beyond. Scrolling down, we're going to see actually location-based testimonials. So if and only if you're visiting the website from California, would you see these really specific testimonials. And when you think about your own firm, you know, one of the advantages of this is somebody visiting your economic development company might say, have they ever worked with a business that moved to their state from New York? Or have they ever worked with a business that moved to their state from Texas? Um, and this allows you to quickly, without you know, being obtrusive, without being too on the nose, to quickly say, you have an objection or maybe you have a concern about working with us, here is our response. So in this case, Golden Shovel could just highlight two really clean testimonials. Additionally, back when people visited uh, trade shows and in-person events, they could highlight that, hey, we are actually going to be at the annual conference in California School Business Expo, April 6th through 9th on 2021. So if I'm visiting from California, I'm probably going to that conference. And now because of GeoFly, I can say, oh, so is Golden Shovel. Instead of having to click three times, okay, what are their events? What are their California events? And oh, how do I find them? This surfaces it in a really clear way. Other ways that we've used GeoFly for folks, you know, videos, you can change videos. So if you want to produce, you know, five different videos for your top five regions of the country, I could say, hello, Pacific Northwest. My name is Kyle. We've done a ton of business with other companies from the Pacific Northwest. We welcome you with open arms and check out our packet on Pacific Northwest, uh, you know, business migration. And something that simple, something that, you know, even with a webcam, now that can live on your site and somebody visiting from the Pacific Northwest sees that video front and center. If done correctly, the visitor doesn't really know um, that, they're being pers that the website is personalized for them. Everything just feels more relevant. Um, we work with firms as large as you know, Nokia. Um, we've worked with the University of Oregon. We work with big brands, but we also work with very small local e-commerce stores that have two different types of customers, local and non-local. Local, they want to bring them into the shop. Non-local, they want to really push online sales. So here's what the website could look like for anybody visiting from Austin. So again, this is now in the South, somebody coming to economic to goldenshovelagency.com from the South, this is what they'd see. Helping attract businesses and talent to the vibrant communities, schedule a call. If you're watching this thinking, okay, the schedule a call button, is that something I can change? Absolutely. You can change that call to action button to be, you know, maybe it's talking with your, the person on your outreach team or yourself that is the expert in, uh, you know, Texas businesses. And you can change who that call is routed to based on location. As I continue to scroll, again, here's some testimonials that are really specific to Austin. Brewster County Development Corporation undertook the design of the website. So again, I'm visiting this site from Texas and I, I might almost think that Golden Shovel is based in Texas. Um, and it's not deceiving, but it's just, it's just reiterating the fact that, hey, we can do business anywhere and we, we personalize content. And then here's a conference that is in Texas. We're gonna be there, we're gonna be presenting, sign up to come see us. 
And then lastly, let's take a look at, this is kind of our local audience. So right there in Twin Falls, or sorry, Little Falls, um, Minnesota. Couple personalized testimonials and then our Little Falls event. We could personalize this video, put our images, really anything. Um, and then here's our dashboard of those different regions that we created and personalized content for. So anybody visiting your website from this custom area, what do you want them to see? Anybody visiting from the state of California, what do you want them to see? So, you know, I'll kind of pause there um, before I sort of dive into the application itself. Um, but based on, you know, the last few years of findings and millions of impressions, chances are that you, you've been to a website that is serving geoflied content. You just might not have felt it. Like it's not, it's not a pop-up and says, this is a geoflied website. Uh, you are seeing geoflied content. Um, our goal is to make it elegant, really seamless and, and easy for the, for the end user to get the information that they need. So I just want to pause there and see if anybody does have, uh, does have any questions about what I, what I went through there. We don't have any yet, but okay. any, anyone that does have questions, feel free to just drop them into the Q&A section and we'll pause or get to them as soon as we can. Yeah. And now it might be cool to see exactly how this works. So from the, from the dashboard example, um, your Golden Shovel team will, will likely be the ones that are moving these toggles and helping you figure out strategically you know, what are those three different personas that I want to personalize content for? But like we said at the beginning, this is a huge competitive advantage. Chances are you're probably doing this already with email. For example, if you have an email list of 10,000, or maybe it's 100, um, you may from time to time send an email to the entire list. But best practice today, especially in 2020, with email being, you know, with people getting a lot of email is to segment those lists. So maybe you have a list of out of state, maybe you have a list of in state, and maybe you also have a list of local or uh, businesses that you're currently working with versus businesses that you'd love to work with. The same applies to Geofly. So as you are thinking about your website content and working with your Golden Shovel team, you know, when you're designing that homepage content, you no longer have to be limited by, well, we have to try to be everything to everybody. You can say, this is our Southwest value proposition. Um, somebody moving from the Southwest to our location, they're gonna hear the benefits for them. Somebody moving from a freezing cold location to our location, let's highlight some of the climate benefits to that crew. So let's jump right in. I'm just gonna use, again, Golden Shovel as an example. And we'll quickly show you um, how this works. So here's a new page. And this is where I would actually, and this is where you know, the Golden Shovel team would enter your page. So I'm just going to say home page and then pretend that this is your website here that we're adding. Go ahead and click save. What's happening now is that Geofly will bring in your website to the application and anything that this blue indicator hovers over, we can change. And you know, spoiler alert, the blue indicator hovers over everything. So you can pretty much change anything and everything on your website. Um, but we like to start with three pieces of really simple content. So as I hover over this, I might select this header. Header one, we'll call that. Um, I'll call this header golden shovel. And let's change this background image. And let's do one more piece of content down here. Maybe we'll change, um, oh, let's change this call to action button here in the middle of the page. Okay. And if anybody is kind of technical on this, if, if you have something that is a little tricky to highlight, let's, let's say you wanted to highlight um, this whole section here and it, the indicator wasn't working, um, you can actually do, you know, you can actually select elements by all these different formats. So you could select the div, you could select HTML. If you're like, I don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Um, you know, your, your Golden Shovel team will likely help you with that. So let's change some content. Now, 
you might be thinking, well, how do I select content? So I'm going to create a new region here. These are the different ways that you can personalize content. So first is location library. And maybe I want to do it by state. So I want to select anybody visiting my website from, let's do Washington, Oregon, and California. Or I could do anybody visiting my website from New England area. So Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts. It's always a geography test for me. I think we can include Rhode Island there. So we're going to sort of merge these all together and save those. Or I could just say, let's do Massachusetts and kind of encompass everybody there. Well, let's go back. I think I merged too many things. Just Massachusetts. There it is. Uh, I can also do radius. So if I wanted to instead just select Boston, I could do that. So Boston. And anybody with an IP address in this 50 mile radius, well, let's do 10 miles, really focus on the city center. That's who we want to personalize content for. And lastly, if you're thinking, you know, I don't really need states, I don't really need a radius, I need like a certain part of the country, I could do the Western United States. So now I'm just going to roughly sort of select California. I'll kind of, I'll include Nevada in there. And We'll just kind of include this bunch of states. I might have included British Columbia in there, which is okay, and hit save. <clears throat> okay, so my Boston audience, and let's do that. Uh, let's do the header, and we're going to say. Um, Hello, Boston. I'm not a great copywriter on the spot, but let's do something like um, New England to Minnesota. Did I spell Minnesota right, Audrey? That looks great. <laughs> okay, good. New England to Minnesota. Learn more. And I can also schedule this so I can have it start, you know, this week. And, and if I want to, for whatever reason, have that content paused at the end of the month, I could do that too. Let's hit save. And so now when somebody visits this site from Boston, I'm gonna preview it. This is what they'll see. New England to Minnesota, learn more. So in, a, you know, in the span of maybe five minutes, um, we've changed that content in, in a very elegant, simple, and, and fast way. And you can do that for as many regions as you'd like. You know, like I said, we're, we're looking to stick usually to three regions. Um, just applying that 80-20 rule, you know, 80% 80 of your results are going to come from, uh, you know, 20% of your regions. So, um, really focused on what regions are is your team focused on growing or recruiting business from, and then making sure that you're speaking to that audience. I can change, like I said, background images and much more. We have an analytics tab that merges directly with your Google Analytics, so there's nothing here yet. Um, for, for this site, but if this were your site, you would have how many people saw your actualized content, how many people clicked on content that you personalized. So if you personalize a link, you'll be able to see that really clearly. Like I changed that schedule call button to be personalized and the increase in the number of people that clicked on that was 25% month over month for our New England region. So lots of exciting stuff to look at uh, once you connect analytics. You can set up campaign goals. Uh, and your golden agency or your golden shovel agency team can help you do that. Um, but this is, you know, this really is a, a tool that is underutilized in a lot of markets. We are really just ramping up here at GeoFly and Golden Shovel. You know, when we when Ron reached out to us and said this is um, there's a lot of opportunity in economic development, we certainly agreed and and saw the opportunity immediately um, because there's. So the, the customers that are on your website and sort of contacting you are, are so different, especially based on location. So um, we are very excited about this partnership. We're really excited to see the results for early adopters of economic development who get this going on their site uh, quickly and, and really gain a competitive advantage in a, in a pretty competitive space, which is economic development. So with that, 
you know, I've, I've been talking for 20 minutes. I'd love to either get some questions or just, um, you know, cruise through any other examples that, that folks would like to see. Yes, yeah, so we've got a couple kind of specific example questions. Um, so would it work for, or work to use to target remote workers from the West Coast? And it looks like you would just um, select those states. Yeah, certainly. So I think, again, what I would probably do is a custom draw. And I could say something like, this is my um, West Coast region, West Coast 2, and this is our custom draw. So maybe if I just wanted to highlight some of the cities, you know, including Seattle, maybe Portland, and some of these California cities, you know, I could do something like this. I probably want to move that over a bit to include more of the coast, but, you know, that is really specific to the West Coast. Again, I'd move that region over a little bit to include, I think I missed San Francisco, which likely would be important. So absolutely, that would be a, a, great, a great region to select. Awesome. And then um, could someone use um, GeoFly to target manufacturers in a specific state? Um, you know, targeting based on interest is something that we are certainly, certainly building out. We are the, you know, we are really focused on geo, meaning we want to personalize content based on location. And we do that better than anybody in the world. Mm -hmm. There are some other firms that can do things like target personalized content based on interest. What starts to happen is it becomes pretty cumbersome and the audiences get very small. So the amount of data, for example, if I said, I want to target manufacturers in Cleveland, Ohio, um, the tricky part there is that a manufacturer would have to come to your website to see that personalized content. Whereas with GeoFly, it's anybody in that region can, you can personalize content for. And let yep. me, let me explain a little more. So if I wanted to select that audience, I could say, um, let's do Cleveland. I know Golden Shovel is able to personalize um, content on the sites or on specific pages. And so then if we're able to target the specific state that you're looking for, that would be great to get the best of both worlds then with um, Golden Shovel and GeoFly. Totally. Yep. So if I highlighted Cleveland, uh, I think I've got too many pages open here. Um, so if I highlighted pay Cleveland specifically, I could, um, and I knew that I want to attract manufacturers from there, I could just personalize the content to be manufacturing specific. Awesome. Yes. Uh, so next yeah, question. That's a great question. Um, could I have separate content for local communities and also for visitors outside my community? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a really good use case. You know, I mentioned a bunch of different regions, but most of our most of our customers work with three regions or less. So a local audience, you know, here is Golden Shovel's website. So here's their local audience helping attract businesses and talent to Little Falls. You might even have a call to action here when it's appropriate to do so to say, we'd love to meet you for coffee at our local office. And then another region that is just everybody else. So it's local and then everywhere else sees different content. Um, awesome. And it could be visit our city. Here's some things to know when traveling here. We've even seen some cool things like um, let's use Salt Lake City as an example. So if you are the economic, an economic development firm in and around Salt Lake City, you can find places that have direct flights to your city. And when somebody from you know, Atlanta visits your economic development firm's website, the first thing they see is, did you know that there's direct flights from Atlanta to Salt Lake City? So just delighting them with a, oh, it's actually easy to get to. I, I imagined it being more difficult. So mm -hmm. removing some of those barriers early is a great way to use GeoFly. Awesome. Uh, another question here. Can you only customize the website homepage or can you customize any page within the website? You can customize any website or any page within your website. Uh, and I can go back and if I were to add a, you know, the contact us page or the um, about us page, you can certainly contact, uh, personalize those. Colleges traditionally choose the home page, the campus visit page. So again, letting people know like, here's how you get here if you're from out of state and also the tuition page because the experience when somebody from California visits the University of Montana's tuition page is 
not great because it shows in-state tuition directly next to out-of-state tuition. Well, if you compare out-of-state California tuition to in-state California tuition, it actually all of a sudden to the, to the end user feels like a really great deal instead of a sort of a punch in the stomach, like, oh man, I, I'm paying so much more because I'm out of state. So yeah, you can definitely, definitely do that. And that's a great, a great use case is a three regions and usually like one to three pages is a good starting point. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I know that helps um, instead of creating separate pages for each audience and kind of targeting through those and creating all these different pages. Nice just to um, go based on their location and they see whatever you choose for them to see. Totally. Yep. Oh, any other questions from attendees? Just go ahead and put them in the Q and A. We're got them all answered for now. Is there anything else, Kyle, that you wanted to go over? Um, you know, I like to keep the the initial sort of run through pretty straightforward because it is sort of a new technology that that people aren't totally familiar with. Um, you know, just I think for folks out there that are wondering, you know, is this, is this right for my business? Uh, A good way to start is just to personalize a couple pieces of content and just measure how does that, what happens to my website's performance um, from the regions that I geoflied. So if I want to personalize to the, to the attendees question, if I have a local audience that I want to personalize content for and a national audience, let's just take those two metrics and compare them month over month. Uh, geoflied, non-geoflied, and and see what happens. And you know, we have seen um, really large, really large lifts in page performance. It feels kind of like a neat trick, like oh, cool, you changed some content, but it matters. You know, time on site increases on average of twenty five percent. Pages per session increase almost double. And any if you've set up conversions, um, any like click to call or uh, events in Google Analytics, you know, sometimes we see as high as a 30% increase in the number of website visitors taking those actions on geoflied pages. So it really makes a difference to your end website. Um, if you're spending money on advertising, this is really a, a big win and opportunity um, to, to capitalize on those visitors that you're working hard to get to your site. So that's kind of my last, um, my last, uh, punctuation mark on the, on the presentation here. Awesome. And we did have one more question come in. Um, how do people get started? Do they um, contact Golden Shovel? I don't know if you want to answer that or me, but. Um, yeah, Audrey, if you want to tackle that one, I think our partnership um, yep. has it so that they would contact Golden Shovel and work directly yep. with you, which is very convenient. Yes, yes. So Golden Shovel is partnering with GeoFly um, and will be the only economic development agency using GeoFly um, targeting services. Um, So yeah, if you guys want to use that, contact someone from Golden Shovel and we will get you set up with all of this and help you through the process. Yeah. And our goal is to make this pretty simple to get started with. It is not, like I said, a whole website overhaul. Um, We've onboarded folks in a day, less than a day. So it's not something um, that we imagine is like a, uh, you know, a bunch of sticky notes on the whiteboard. And um, this can happen really quickly. We, we move fast here at GeoFly. We're constantly trying to kick out new features and uh, are responsive to our customer needs. So like I said, if, uh, if this is something that you want to get started with, we've, we've tried to price it in a way that is accessible and certainly structured in a way that is easy to get up and running quickly. Cool. Well, it was good to have, have some folks on and um, I know you'll be sort of recording this Audrey as well and, and kicking it out there. So we're excited to get started with folks in this vertical. Uh, you know, we started in higher ed, we spent a lot of time there we moved into e-commerce as we saw more opportunity. And as our team grows, then the verticals that we're working in grow. And uh, this, is a new, this is a new opportunity in economic development that, that we and I know Golden Shovel is, is really excited about. 
Yes, thank you. And we had two other quick um, comments or questions. Um, yes, we will make this webinar available after it ends. Uh, we will be sending out a follow-up email within the next day or so. Um, and so it'll have the recording of all of this um, and any other details that we um, talked about. And then um, another question was, is there an additional fee for Golden Shovel customers to use this tool? And uh, we will, if you contact us, we'll be able to discuss different discounts with you. Um, so yeah, just give us a call or shoot us an email. Uh, and then one special offer that we promised all of you is that um, anyone that signs up with Golden Shovel services by the end of the year will get um, a trial month or a trial of uh, six months for free with go or with geotargeting, and that includes three locations for three pages. So definitely reach out to us yeah, if you are interested, great. and we will get everything set up for you. Great, Audrey. Thank you for organizing this. Yes, and thank you, Kyle. Yeah, of course. And um, I'm assuming if anybody has additional questions, they can uh, shoot them shoot them your way. For sure. Yeah, and I can always forward emails to Kyle as well too. So if you have any questions for him or for us, just let us know. Cool. Are are these usually about thirty minutes, Audrey, or did I was I did I go really yeah. fast? Normally we shoot for about 40 minutes or so. So we're just five okay. minutes. Short. It was great. It was okay. Good. Everyone of, gets five minutes back in their day. <laughs> yes. Good. So thank you everyone for joining us. And thank you, Kyle, so much. We always enjoy when you go over all this stuff. It's very interesting. Yeah. Great. Exciting stuff. Awesome. Well, be on the lookout um, in your inboxes soon for the follow-up. Okay. Thanks. Bye everyone.